2020 to 2024 extra class. FCC Element 4 Question Pool. Effective July 1, 2020. Edited by KI5DFU. June 2020. Due to the length of this sub-element, it has been split into two parts. Part 1 of the sub-element E1 Commission Rules, 6 Exam Questions 6 Groups. Operating Standards, Frequency Privileges, Automatic Message Forwarding, Stations Aboard Ships or Aircraft, Power Restriction on 630 and 2200 meter bands. Which of the following carrier frequencies is illegal for LSB AFSK emissions on the 17 meter band RTTY and data segment of 18.068 to 18.110 MHz? Answer, 18.068 MHz. When using a transceiver that displays the carrier frequency of phone signals, which of the following displayed frequencies represents the lowest frequency at which a properly adjusted LSB emission will be totally within the band? Answer, 3 kHz above the lower band edge. What is the maximum legal carrier frequency on the 20-meter band for transmitting USB AFSK digital signals having a 1 kHz bandwidth? Answer, 14.149 MHz. With your transceiver displaying the carrier frequency of phone signals, you hear a DX station calling CQ on 3.601 MHz LSB. Is it legal to return the call using lower sideband on the same frequency? Answer no, the sideband will extend beyond the edge of the phone band segment. What is the maximum power output permitted on the 60 meter band? Answer, 100 watts pep effective radiated power relative to the gain of a half wave dipole. Where must the carrier frequency of a CW signal be set to comply with FCC rules for 60 meter operation? Answer, at the center frequency of the channel. What is the maximum power permitted on the 2200 meter band? Answer, 1 watt EIRP, equivalent isotropic radiated power. If a station in a message forwarding system inadvertently forwards a message that is in viola violation of FCC rules, who is primarily accountable for the rules violation? Answer, the control operator of the originating station. What action or actions should you take if your digital message forwarding station inadvertently forwards a communication that violates FCC rules? Answer, discontinue forwarding the communication as soon as you become aware of it. If an amateur station is installed aboard a ship or aircraft, what condition must be met before the station is operated? Answer, its operation must be approved by the master of the ship or the pilot in command of the aircraft. Which of the following describes authorization or licensing required when operating an amateur station aboard a U.S. registered vessel in international waters? Answer, any FCC-issued amateur license. What special operating frequency restrictions are imposed on slow skin TV transmissions? Answer, they are restricted to phone band segments. Who must be in physical control of the station apparatus of an amateur station aboard any vessel or craft that is documented or registered in the United States? Answer, any person holding an FCC-issued amateur license or who is authorized for alien reciprocal operation. Except in some parts of Alaska, what is the maximum power permitted on the 630-meter band? Answer, 5 watts EIRP. Station Restrictions and Special Operations, Restrictions on Station Location, General Operating Restrictions, Spurious Emissions, Antenna Structure Restrictions, Races Operations. Which of the following constitutes a spurious emission? Answer, an emission outside the signal's necessary bandwidth that can be reduced or eliminated without affecting the information transmitted. Which of the following is an acceptable bandwidth for Digital Radio Mondiale? DRM, based voice, or SSTV digital transmissions made on the HF amateur bands? Answer, 3 kHz. Within, within what distance must an amateur station protect an FCC monitoring facility from harmful interference? Answer, 1 mile. What must be done before placing an amateur station within an officially designated wilderness area or wildlife preserve or an area listed in the National Register of Historic Places? Answer, an environmental assessment must be submitted to the FCC. 
What is the National Radio Quiet Zone? Answer, an area surrounding the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. Which of the following additional rules apply if you are installing an amateur station antenna at a site at or near a public-use airport? Answer, you may have to notify the Federal Aviation Administration and register it with the FCC as required by Part 17 of the FCC rules. To what type of regulations does PRB1 apply? Answer, state and local zoning. What limitations may the FCC place on an amateur station if its signal causes interference to domestic broadcast reception, assuming that the receivers involved are of good engineering design? Answer, the amateur station must avoid transmitting during certain hours on frequencies that cause the interference. Which amateur stations may be operated under RACE's rules? Answer, any FCC-licensed amateur station certified by the responsible civil defense organization for the area served. What frequencies are authorized to an amateur station operating under RACE's rules? Answer, all amateur service frequencies authorized to the control operator. What does PRB1 require of regulations affecting amateur radio? Answer, reasonable accommodations of amateur radio must be made. What must the control operator of a repeater operating in the 70 cm band do if a radio location system experiences interference from that repeater? Answer, cease operation or make changes to the repeater to mitigate the interference. Rules pertaining to automatic and remote control, band-specific regulations, operating in and communicating with foreign countries, spurious emission standards, HF modulation index limit, bandwidth definition. What is the maximum bandwidth for a data emission on 60 meters? Answer, 2.8 kilohertz. Which of the following types of communications may be transmitted to amateur stations in foreign countries? Answer, communications incidental to the purpose of the amateur service and remarks of a personal nature. How do the control operator responsibilities of a station under automatic control differ from one under local control? Answer, under automatic control the control operator is not required to be present at the control point. What is meant by IARP? Answer, an international amateur radio permit that allows U.S. amateurs to operate in certain countries of the Americas. When may an automatically controlled station originate third-party communications? Answer, never. Which of the following is required in order to operate in accordance with CEPT rules in foreign countries where permitted? Answer, you must bring a copy of FCC Public Notice DA 16 to 1048. At what level below a signal's mean power level is its bandwidth determined according to FCC rules? Answer, 26 dB. What is the maximum permissible duration of a remotely controlled station's transmissions if its control link malfunctions? Answer, 3 minutes. This is the end of part 1 of the extra class sub-element 1.